Okay, so now I'm getting ready to watch episode 20 of season three of Attack on Titans because it looks like Grisha grew up in some kind of an internment district or something along those lines. So let's see if we learn more about Grisha's childhood in episode 20 here. And it's starting right off with like these street scenes in an old timey looking place, but they have cars and buildings that look like European close to modern buildings. I'm going to place this like if you were in Europe about 1920, give or take. Sands World War One, you know, 1920s. Maybe 1930s, look more like 20s with that car. That day is the name of the episode. So no OP. We have that little cold opening. We have the episode title. And we're going to get, it looks like a chock full episode in the town where Grisha grew up. We're back with Grisha and his little sister walking on the streets of what looks like a European town circa 1925 or something. The significance of that word Eldian is going to be. Oh, wow. They're going to like where the dirigibles launch to the Zeppelin landing yard, it looks like. There's some steps up to this little flat mini plateau or what have you with blue skies and there's a Zeppelin in the Zeppelin barn. You know a party's about to happen when you see a Zeppelin in the Zeppelin barn. Oh, wow, his sister's just in awe at the blimp. You know, I'm using blimp and Zeppelin interchangeably. I know they're different things. Uh, I'll just say airship. Please don't correct me. I don't know the differences. I just know they're different. I don't know if dirigible encompasses both of them, but I will use the wrong word from time to time. Blame it on blimpy subs in the Goodyear blimp and the Hindenburg. Oh, threatening to give him a beating, this, this security guard or whatever. But I guess those armbands mark them as Eldians, whatever an Eldian is. Oh, wow, they want to punish the sister, but not Grisha. So this is really getting worked up. I'm seeing a family resemblance to uh, Grisha's headfirst rush-in protective attitude and his son Aaron there. So they're taking the daughter back home, but what's up with Grisha? He got kneed in the midsection by a, a man. Oh, telling him. Oh, paradise. Eldians are sent to paradise if they take off their armbands, even if they're kids. So what the heck is paradise? It sounds like some horrible prison that you name paradise, you know, to make people think it's not as bad as it is. But they were already in some kind of internment. Oh, oh my goodness. They killed his sister. Just a little girl. Liberio, they're talking about Liberio, Paradise, Eldian kids. Oh my goodness, there's so many new terms for me to learn, and we're almost at the end of the season. But yeah, there is some kind of hierarchy, like telling him that the kid needs to learn to stay in his place. Marley Public Security. Oh my goodness. The security guard trying to cover up his own incompetence. The sister's dead. His mom is crying. Well, if that's Grisha's dad, that's not the Beast Titan. He looks, oh, well, there's one theory out the door if that's, that's not Zeke. But wow, he's talking about the hate. Grisha's hate for that guy that led to his sister's death. That's the hate that fuels him the way, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Over a thousand years ago, Amir Fritz made a con. Whoa, with the devil? The power of the Titans? They're telling us where the Titans came from and Amir. So the significance of that name, it wasn't just a coincidence. And then the Eldian Empire has something to do with Titans. They defeated Marley, who is, I guess, the people, the Dark Ages, like the fall of Rome. Wow, subjects of Amir. Th this is overload. This is lore overload. Oh my goodness, I'm going to pour over this. They made others bear their children to increase the numbers of the Eldians. Ethnic cleansing, 1,700 years. I told you I thought this cycle had gone on for quite some time. And that's why they named Amir Amir and claimed she had blood of the king. And Amir Fritz and Fritzberg. Oh my goodness, so much. A great titan war that caused the Eldians to be segregated. Three walls on the island of paradise. There's an island. That's, that's Walmaria and Shiganshina and Walsina. Oh, they're on an island. And 
Ah, oh, this is beautiful. So much, so fast. This is exposition overload. Oh, wow. So Eldians that escape from this place they're calling paradise have to live in a walled off area because they don't know who's a Titan, maybe? Oh, wow. Whew. Taking in too much? My biggest takeaway from that <laughs> is that uh, Grisha's dad is definitely not Zeke. Oh, he's telling them that the guards lied about him. They were just wanting to see the blimps, that's all. The dirigibles, the zeppelins. And they don't want to get shipped off to paradise, and I guess their mind would be erased. You know, the memory power would be used, so they didn't even remember it. But Grisha does show up outside the walls of paradise. So these Eldians here must have some kind of escape plan or trying to take back over humanity. Yeah, they do call it an internment zone. All right, so I read that correctly. Oh, man. I got to know more about Liberio, the place they claim they dropped his sister off before she was killed. Like, is that where Amir was before she got punished by being turned into a Titan? Where that cult of Amir was however many years ago? And they're saying about 80 years is when the walls went up. So I guess that's about 25 years ago then, since we know it's been about 105 years. Wow, they're just showing all the like segregation and all the discrimination against the uh, Eldians here. Okay, so who's this with Grisha? He's got a scar on his shoulder to prove he's a patriot? What's this scar? Oh, wow. So this guy's talking about like a, an uprising or a, an opposition, a resistance to this current rule in this place that has the Eldian segregated. And I guess that scar in his shoulder proves he's a, quote, patriot. So like Eldian independence or something. Oh, man, showing the dogs ripping his sister apart. That's awful. So then they cut the scar into their body. And I got to figure out exactly what it is. Like, does that symbol represent something I should recognize? It kind of looks like a star. An informant. Okay, restorationists. I guess they want to restore the rule of that King Fritz. The one that made contact with the, the first devils and became titans. An Amir, Amir Fritz. I guess it was a queen, not a king. Wow, look at that. Yeah, Amir was a queen, not a king. Sorry about that. But I love it, this Amir, Blood of the King, the name's coming all around. And Grisha here working on deciphering this old history of Amir and the Eldians. Man, and now I want to get back to the Amir that we know in this story. Is that why they picked her to be a leader and that's why they all got shut down? And like, that's who Amir was this like new, whoa. Dinah Fritz looks a lot like Krista. She looks a lot like Krista. Okay. So she is the real deal that Amir was set up to imitate. Oh my goodness. And I know I'm probably slipping on some of these details. I will go over this episode with a fine tooth comb. Don't you worry. Oh, they're talking about the founding titan inside the walls. They get that founding titan back. They can restore the, the Amir Fritz bloodline to power. So they're kind of doing the Historia thing on the outside that, that Pixis and Ervin wanted to do on the inside. This great titan war. Look at this. This is some beautiful old artwork. Move the capital. But, but Rice, Rice, not Fritz. And maybe that's why they use that fake name Fritz for Fritzburg that they call Paradise now. I don't have to call it Fritzburg anymore. But they're talking about the Great Titan War. So how are they going to unlock this power of the Titans so they can go back and try to get the founding Titan away from the Rice family? Because we know somebody had this Titan serum because we saw Amir get turned into a Titan for leading a very similar kind of cult here as what we see Dina Fritz leading whoa grisha grisha seeks father grisha was married before he came to shiganshina and it was zeke 
So that's the picture. I had it all backwards. I thought Zeke was, might be his dad or his brother. Zeke is Aaron's big brother. Holy goodness gracious. And this is like the brainwashing Zeke was talking about. Grisha brought him in to this war for independence he had no interest in, and now he's pulled Aaron into it. I'm gonna calm down. I feel like I'm being a little performative, but I'm blown away. <laughs> oh my. They had airplanes. They had a, like a armor clad ship, like the monitor in the Merrimack. Fossil fuels. Wow. And they got a warning from who I'll call the Rice family. Like they've got Titans all around the island to keep people from invading. That makes sense. And they keep the Titans stored inside the walls as a doomsday weapon. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's all coming together. But it feels like the show's about to end. I don't understand because I know there's a season four. Wow. But if they get that founding Titan, they can take control of the weapons in the walls and turn them against these Marley. I think they call them Marley, the government in this city where they're at. And I have no idea what Liberio is. But Zeke, he's going to turn. Z Zeke's playing with the Beast Titan. This stuffed animal was a beast titan. Marleyans. Like Bob Marley? Oh my goodness. I'm blown away here. This is overload. Head's about to pop. So this is why it took so long to get to the basement. Because this is a whole lot to recover from once you find out. Oh wow. Zeke. Is from a royal bloodline just like Astoria. Do they seem to be enemy branches or something? So that's why Grisha thought Zeke deserved that founding Titan power. But he had to start fresh with Aaron. Zeke turned Grisha in? Whoa, Zeke ratted out his dad? Did I see that correctly? And that's why he got dumped off and wound up wandering into Shiganshina. They're pushing him off the walls. Sending him to paradise. Oh, wow. Life sentence. He was sent to the walls as a pure titan, so he had to eat a shifter because he shows up as a human. Wants to know who the owl is, but of course, Grisha, even though it poor Zeke, Okay, well, I got to figure out how did Zeke become a Titan? Is it just because he's got that Fritz bloodline? Oh, wow, that's that's one of the same, like, officers that killed his sister and caught him at the blimp port. I don't know if you call that a blimp port, the landing pad. So they're getting ready to throw him off as Titans. So this is the wall we saw Amir get kicked off of with the desert and everything. Oh. Man, Zeke sold his dad up the river. But yeah, this looks exactly like the same wall Amir got thrown off of. So I guess the Marleyans have this Titan serum, but they had to find shifters and chomp on them in order to, or at least... Grisha did to make his way back to Shiganshina the way we saw him. Maybe that explains some of his amnesia, but he remembered enough to write in his journal. Oh, wow. So they didn't even turn him into a Titan? They just threw him off? Oh, so they're sending one human out there for the Titans to chase, like the way they have like the little bunny rabbit at the dog track to keep the dogs running. Oh, and he's seeing the one who killed his sister recognizes that face. So now they're going to give him all the serum, just like when Amir got kicked off the wall for being part of that cult where she claimed to have the blood of the king like Dinah had hit there. Okay, but hers was like 60 years before this or something, or 40 years before this, 50. I don't know. I'm losing track of time. But yeah, they're all becoming titans. But I got to see how Grisha got his... Who he chomped to get the transformation power? Did he chase down Grice and Grice happened to be the magic? 
Look at all those titans just out in the desert. I guess they make their way to paradise through that desert. They're all chasing Grice, but they're keeping Grisha back for some reason. Why are they making Grisha go last? Oh, they want to interrogate him some more. Oh, but this guy doesn't care. Is that Dina? Dinah? That's his wife. And she's got that royal blood, so maybe she's the key to he ate his wife to become a shifter. Is that what he did? Grisha. Oh, no. So they're going to turn her into a titan? So. Wow. But he went on and married Carla when he already had a wife and a kid. Started him a new family in Chiganshina. So there's Dina's form, or Dinah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, wow. Was that Aaron waking up with nightmares because he read that journal? We're still not going to see the part where Grisha became a shifter? How he made his way to Shiganshina? Oh, man. They're making Aaron and Mikasa do some time. Did they give Mikasa a haircut or is her hair just all messed up from sleeping on that cot? Looks like she got a shaggy looking haircut there. She looks very different there. Wow, that was a vivid dream he was having about his father's history. Is that maybe because he ate his father? He's unlocking those memories and it's not a journal, but he's just like remembering? Yeah, he's unlocking the memories. Yeah, he was just now connected. I was thinking he was reading from a journal, but I like the idea of the memory transference better. <gasps> Mom chomp! Oh my goodness, Mom Chomp! Dino was Mom Chomp! I never saw that coming. Wow. So she was jealous of Grisha's new wife? I don't think I was ready to handle all this. These episodes keep getting better. I'm a junkie for exposition. And they're giving me so much here. Is Grisha at least going to get some kind of revenge on Kruger there? It'd be great if he was able to eat Kruger. So it sounds like he can control what kind of Titan they turn into. He said he's going to turn that guy into a three-meter Titan and make him fight. The sadistic guy that killed his sister. I know something bad's got to happen to Kruger, right? Grisha's got to get some comeuppets to Mr. Handlebar Mustache there. Yeah, talking about man's inhumanity to man, just like I said at the beginning, humans like to see cruelty. Something lacking in peace is cruelty. Oh, boy. This guy's sadistic. I wish Zach Lee would get a hold of this guy. Make him butt chug his lunch. So is he going to have him fight on the wall? I hope Kruger gets eaten. He had his son's dogs eat. Frey, that guy is like the worst guy ever. Oh, man, I, let's see some bad thing happen to you, Kruger. Come on, we got a couple minutes left here. Man, he's really got something against Eldians. Like their true form is the Titan form. Does the injection only work on Eldians? I think that's part of the deal, the interbreeding and stuff. Only Eldians are susceptible to the Titan serum. It's starting to click. I'm slow on the uptake, but I'm getting it. Oh, man. Yeah, he, he believes that Amir helped them prosper. So I guess the Restorationists are kind of like what that early version of that was that cult Amir was leading, and that's maybe why they overlap with the Wallace cult and some of their iconography. Whoa! Whoa, this guy just... Is that the owl? Is the other guard the owl? Because he shoved Kruger down there to get chomped. Okay, let's see some chomping on Kruger. <laughs> Shouldn't be celebrating, but Kruger's sadistic. You guys won't get mad at me for being happy that he's getting his comeuppance, right? The guy... 
fed a little girl to dogs, for heaven's sake, and tried to get his son to be that sadistic. That's a familiar-looking face on that Titan eating uh, Kruger there. He's the owl. So he's going to send Grisha on the mission. Old Al is a transformer, a shifter. So he's teaching Grisha how to shift. And look at that blast. Is the Al the original Colossal Titan with a blast like that? I don't know. He's big. Oh, he picked a ship up on his shoulders. Wow. Wow. Whoa, <laughs> personally, I'm willing to declare this my favorite episode yet because I am a junkie for exposition. I can't get enough. So much was told here. I like dense exposition at times. I mean, I don't want the show to be that way all the way through, but I love having just this overload of questions answered. I love an episode. I know I'm going to get something new out of on the third watch, fourth watch. I had a blast with this. Absolutely love it. A great one to follow up the basement because the basement was when I was expecting to get this information. They found a way I didn't expect to get what I was expecting. And I had no idea how young Zeke was, that Zeke is Aaron's brother. You know, the beard, he's growing a pretty manly beard, so it's hard to estimate his age. But clearly not the school teacher at this point. So I was a little bit off on that. But anyway, I'll own it. I love it. And uh, I'm just going to say I'm proud of you for watching anime and I'll talk to you again soon. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who supported the channel on Patreon. If you think you might be interested in seeing what's going on at the Bruce Leslie Anime Dad Patreon, there is a link in the video description.